In this lecture, we'll learn the difference between local and global stability of an equilibrium point and how the global stability can be determined using a Lyapunov function. Consider a nonlinear system in the form of x dot equals f of x and assume the equilibrium point xe is asymptotically stable. An equilibrium point is globally asymptotically stable if the asymptotic stability holds for all initial conditions in the space. For example, in this vector field, all trajectories of the system starting from any initial condition in R2 converge to the equilibrium point at the origin. So the origin is globally asymptotically stable. But if the asymptotic stability only holds for some of the initial conditions in the space, then the equilibrium point is locally asymptotically stable. In the right-hand side vector field, the trajectories starting in the green area converge to the equilibrium point at the origin, but other trajectories starting in the area highlighted in yellow do not converge to the origin. So in this case, the origin is only locally asymptotically stable. We will now study two simple examples to better understand local and global asymptotic stability. The linear system x dot equals minus x has an equilibrium point at the origin. So if the initial condition is at the origin, the trajectory of the system remains at the origin for all time. If the initial condition is positive, then x dot is less than zero and x decreases until it goes to zero and it will stop at the origin as x dot equals zero at the origin. If the initial condition is negative, then x dot is positive, and x increases and converges to zero. So for all initial conditions in R, the trajectories tend to the origin, and therefore the origin is globally asymptotically stable. In the second example, Consider another first-order nonlinear system which has two equilibrium points at 0 and minus 5. If the initial condition is at any of the equilibrium points, then x dot equals 0 and therefore x stays at the equilibrium point for all time. Since the system has more than one equilibrium point, none of the equilibrium points can be globally asymptotically stable. This is because trajectories starting from an equilibrium point remain there for all time, so it's not possible that all trajectories of the system converge to one equilibrium point. We now check if the two equilibrium points of the system are locally asymptotically stable or not. If x of 0 is positive, then x dot of 0, which is equal to minus x times x plus 5, is less than 0, and therefore x decreases until it goes to the origin. If the initial condition is between minus 5 and 0, then x dot is positive, so x increases until it reaches the origin. So for all initial conditions greater than minus 5, the trajectories converge to the origin which means that the equilibrium point at zero is locally asymptotically stable. We finally check the case where the initial condition is less than minus five and see that x dot is negative. So x of t goes to minus infinity and the equilibrium point at minus five is unstable. We have learned so far that if the region of attraction of an asymptotically stable equilibrium point is the whole space, then the equilibrium is globally asymptotically stable. Recall the Lyapunov stability theorem, which is used to show local asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point. The theorem says that if there exists a ball around the equilibrium and a positive definite function v on the ball such that v that is negative definite, then the equilibrium is locally asymptotically stable. A question that arises here is that if the ball in this theorem is the whole space, then can we conclude that the equilibrium is globally asymptotically stable? We will show by an example that we need another condition which is called radial unboundedness of the function v. Consider this second order system which has only one equilibrium point at the origin. To show the asymptotic stability of the origin, we choose a Lyapunov candidate V. This function is positive definite as it's zero at zero 
and is positive for all other points in R2. We then calculate V dots and obtain that it's a negative definite function. So we obtain from Lyapunov stability theorem that the origin is locally symptotically stable. But is it also globally symptotically stable? To answer this question, we first plot some of the level curves of the Lyapunov function and then plot a few trajectories of the system. The level curves are the sets of x1 and x2 in R2 such that v of x1 and x2 equals c for positive values of c. It can be seen that for small values of c, the level curves are closed, but for larger values, the set of points that satisfy v of x1 and x2 is less than c becomes an unbounded set. Since v is positive definite and v dot is negative definite, the trajectories of the system always go to smaller level sets. So if for example we start from the initial condition of 0.8 and 2, the trajectory of the system goes to the inner level curves until it goes to the origin. But there are initial conditions from which the trajectories do not go to the origin. For example, for x1 equals 1 and x2 equals 0, as time increases, the value of x2 always decreases, but x1 goes to infinity. This behavior is demonstrated in this figure. We saw in this example that to show the global asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point, it's not enough to find a positive definite function v with a negative definite v dots in the whole space. The function v should also be a radially unbounded function. v of x is radially unbounded if v of x goes to infinity as the norm of x goes to infinity. In the previous example, v of x was x1 squared over 1 plus x1 squared plus x2 squared. If x1 goes to infinity but x2 doesn't, for example if x2 is equal to 2, then the norm of x which is equal to the square root of x1 squared plus x2 squared goes to infinity, but v of x doesn't as the first term on the right hand side of v goes to 1 and the second term is 2, so v goes to 3. According to the above definition, v is not radially unbounded as it doesn't go to infinity as the norm of x goes to infinity. But the function v of x equals 5x1 squared plus x2 squared is radially unbounded, since v of x goes to infinity as the norm of x goes to infinity. For radially unbounded functions, all level curves are closed and the function is shaped like a cup. But if a positive definite function is not radially unbounded, then only the small level curves are closed. Note that for all positive definite functions, the level curves v of x equals c are always closed for small positive values of c. But if a function is also radially unbounded, then the level curves are closed for all values of c. We are now ready to state a theorem to determine the global asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point. Assume the origin is an equilibrium point for x dot equals f of x. If there exists a continuously differentiable function v which is positive definite on Rn, such that v dot is negative definite on Rn, and v is radially unbounded, then the origin is globally asymptotically stable. Note that there are two main differences between the global asymptotic stability theorem and the local asymptotic stability theorem explained earlier. The first is that v and v dot should be positive definite and negative definite in the whole space. And the second is that v should be radially unbounded. We finish this lecture by an example. We want to show that the origin is a globally asymptotically stable equilibrium point of x dot equals minus x cubed. We choose a function v equals 1 half x squared. This is a positive definite function as it's 0 at 0 and is positive for all other points in R. We then calculate v dot which is equal to minus x to the power of 4. Since v dot is 0 at 0 and is negative for all other points, 
it's a negative definite function. Finally, v is radially unbounded, since v of x goes to infinity as the norm of x goes to infinity. So all conditions of the theorem are satisfied, and we conclude that the origin is globally asymptotically stable.